So, you're looking for the best Minecraft Bedrock practice server? But which one should you pick? Well today, we're putting some of the most popular servers to the test to find the perfect one for you. We'll be rating them out of 10 across 3 different categories. Enjoyment, so how fun is it to play? Is the gameplay smooth? Gameplay variety, so how many game modes are available and are they worth your time? And customization, does the server let you tweak settings, toggle features and enjoy cool cosmetics? Stick around till the end to find out. Okay, so as we can see so far, the server looks good, the spawn pretty good, beautiful logo right there. We have a lot of game modes to choose from. When you go on a practice server, I think that's what you're expecting to see, you know? You have duels, rank, unranked, but duels, this is kind of an extra because not every server has it, but I think it's very good if you want to practice, see how it feels like. they're backing out this is crazy what i can already feel is that it really depends what your ping is like if you have like a high ping it might not be as good it really depends on your ping their hit registration is not that bad but if you have a better ping you literally have an advantage uh, the game is close the game is close this is getting closer I might lose this i might lose this i'm losing this well ggs at so far the server is pretty good it really depends on your ping though now we have other game modes to go, go for but let, let's just let's just go and build because the build i feel like it's a classic for everyone now pretty self-explanatory you need to spam blocks you know like this go like this you take apple and then you regen and then you fight it's an ffa obviously so everyone fights pretty good if you want to train your bridging at the same time as you know fighting people you see boom okay next one come here bro also what's fun about zeka is that you know what your enemy's device is on you know this guy's on playstation like this guy's android like did you see that oh yeah and you can pearl you can also practice clutching on bridging obviously on this game mode which is pretty cool to be honest. Can also start an event. Uh, you need a rank for that, I think. But you can do just do slash host. And if you were to fight people, you have a lot of choice, as you can see. You can also train. So clutch practice, reduce black practice, block in practice. Blocking in is pretty self-explanatory. Blocking in like this. I, that was extremely slow, you know. But um, yeah, next one is clutch practice. Uh, I think it's pretty self-explanatory. It's a very, it's a classic. If you've been, uh, if you're active on Minecraft Shorts, you definitely know what that is. But yeah, you see what I mean. Next one is Reduce Practice. Again, if you saw some YouTube Shorts about it, it's totally normal. It's pretty popular on Java too. And as you can see, you reduce. And then when you let go, you know, the blocks. If you want to clutch or you drag click, this is the perfect mode for you. If you want to practice clutching. As you can see, for the cosmetic side, you can configure quite a lot of things. Like tug along, tug along, the scoreboard, the CPS and all that. Cosmetic wise, they have a lot of good cosmetics. Even some that are uh, ranked from common to legendary. And some unobtainable ones like the limited ones which i think is really really cool so that's pretty much it for this server we're gonna go to the next one so the next server is esu and as you can see already they have a very beautiful lobby however this is not the final lobby this is not like the official lobby so this is the official lobby of esu as you can see you have the leaderboards uh they keep changing every like 5 or 10 seconds. We have quite a lot of game modes to choose from. Again, like Zeka. Except this UI is pretty... It's pretty good, to be honest. We have the locker, which... It's like a sort of a Skywars cosmetics, you know what I mean? Because you have kill phrases, kill sounds, projectile trails. We even have tags. We have a lot of capes. You can open crates to, you know, customize all that. And you level up. The more people you kill, you level up. As you can see, just down there... I'm level 21 and by leveling up you can get a couple of cosmetics which I find pretty cool and as you can see it's this guy is just flying right there that's cool as you will see the knockback is a bit different oh my gosh this is not going so well I think this person is like in Asia region but they decided to go on North America for some reason now as you can see already the ping is kind of, the, the knockback is kind of different than your average 5kb. It's more of a forward kb rather than upwards kb if you know what I mean. Uh, which I find kind of good if you want to learn how to keep your distance from the enemy without them being able to hit you. Now, 
downside of ASU is that you're generally gonna have a pretty high ping on that server. I don't know where the server is located, but for me, if you're an A, you're not gonna get lower than like 40, which honestly, it's kind of a good ping still, but yeah. And other downside about the ASU is that I really don't like the just build because it's like weirdly made. I prefer the Zeka build. So if you're a guy that would rather play close range instead of a higher range, I would go with a Hesu build. But if you're a guy that wants space and wants space to run stuff, I would rather use Zeka. Now, for their game modes of training, they have a lot more than Zeka. So as you can see, this is one of my favorite game modes. I'm not really good at it. But this is one of my favorite practice game modes because it's very unique and no one has it in their server. But yeah, as you can see, you just spam the little things. And then it it's training your aim pretty good. And as you can see, 42 target hits. It's pretty good, bro. It's pretty good. And I really like it. It's very addicting, I can't lie. And then bridge. This is what I like too, because you can, you can go like this, you know, boom. And then you can choose the modes too. You can choose elevated, so like this. And then you can choose diagonal. So if you want to practice icy bridging, hold on, uh, I'm bad. Like this, you know, you're going to practice that, you're going to SU. If you want to practice bridging overall, you need to go on SU, bro. It's like the best server for that kind of thing. And then we have up uh, ice bridging, so that's that's really very, very 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 hard for me. But that's not all. We have chest looting, so how fast can you loot a chest? It's very sweaty, but look, it's very practical if you know practice looting in Skywars and that type of stuff. Uh, yeah, I'm very very slow at it, but yeah, it's uh, I'm I, I'm alright at it. But and then we have clutch. Clutch is pretty much the same as Zeka, you know. Look. Yeah, lava pool, and then we got a bunch more. Now, if you're a guy that want to practice just PvP overall and you're a beginner, I would choose Hesu because Zeka has a lot more sweats and has less options if you're a beginner. Because as you can see, I would go into training and train all of the above to train for public games on Hive or, you know, that kind of stuff. If you want to really want to keep the, your distance from your enemies, like combo them, like I did in Sumo earlier, you should train on Esu because Esu, you know, you go a hinge too close to the enemy and they can hit you and you're done. So if you really want to practice your distance with the enemy, go for it. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for Esu. I think I said everything. Now we're gonna go to the next server. I would like to introduce you to the sponsor of this video. Me. Listen, I really want to get to 5,000 subscribers, so please consider liking this video, and if you aren't already, consider subscribing to the channel. Okay, that's it, thank you. Now, this last server is the most common one that you might know. It's Nether Games, it's been there since forever, and uh, as you can see, we can say they have similar game modes to Hive, but with PvP duels. Very, very good. You have Skywars, you have Skyblock, you have Factions, you even have Arcade which i don't know what that is yeah pretty interesting uh names um I, I, can i leave this can I, how do i leave how do i leave okay this okay this is going great uh what is happening why did i get tpd oh uh, but yeah as you can see there's quite a lot of options to choose from however downside of nether games you cannot train there's no like literal game modes to just train yourself but it's pretty cool like you can you can play bed wars sky wars Conquests, I believe this is like capture the flag, but you have quite a few options. So as you can see when you duel, you have the option normal mode, so I guess it's like raw PvP, bow mode, insane mode, or about gavel mode. Pretty much the classic, you can even choose from different maps, which is pretty cool. So we're gonna try to win this game. 32 gapples, you know, I think it's raw PvP, but with gapples, or maybe it's gapple, maybe it is the gapple mode. Ooh, the brightness here. Nah, this is combo. This is combo. And as you can see, this is pretty easy. You have cosmetics here. I don't possess any of that because, you know, it's... Uh, I don't know how to obtain any of these. As you can see, you have quite a lot of cosmetics. I don't really know. I haven't played this server a lot. But as you can see, we have quite a lot of game modes. Now, I'm going to show you what the real knockback of this server is and why it's i never played well personally because obviously some people are gonna like it 
so people aren't gonna like it so oh, well, you can see the you can see the device of other people that's cool mouse mouse and keyboard and then i think i saw an android guy before as you can see this is a bit like hypixel bedwars you know sam same process for the generators yeah you know you can upgrade and then item shop you know can buy blocks can buy this you know it's it's pretty good this reminds me of like if you you're looking to play hypixel bedwars but on bedrock edition this is a great alternative like you're not gonna find anything better for now at least uh yeah as you can see this is pretty laggy my ping stays the same but the server in itself is kind of laggy and yes there are leaderboards to the server which honestly that's pretty amazing and also the knockback is gonna be a very similar kb when you play in a survival world with your friend it's gonna be very similar to that which honestly some people like it some people dislike it you know it's really up to you honestly yo i can buy iron armor can we buy that bro you know i don't think they put a lot of effort in how the game works you know it's uh now the downside of nether games is that they don't do a lot of updates like you're gonna have like some seasonal stuff but they're not gonna update very often from what I've heard. I'm gonna bridge over there. If you're like a vanilla player that wants to play a server with the same KB as survival, you should go for that. Uh, same for if you're coming from Hypixel Bedwars. I um, would consider playing that if you want to play that on Bedrock Edition. But yeah, as you can see, Zagra, Esu, and Nether Games have very different knockback oh my god no it, uh, yeah, it's very very similar and <laughs> i pick so many doors does this dude have a bed i don't think he does hold on yo yo i killed him let's go now let me just rush who's still alive there's so many people alive yo what's up green what's up green what it okay well i'm just gonna go away you know definitely a weird kb i i can't lie like i wouldn't enjoy playing with that kind of kb Oh, I died. But yeah, that was pretty much the video. I'm gonna put some text right now and see what's good for you. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next week. Love you.